hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel today i came up with another interesting integral uh, so um, how to solve this nice integral well uh, here we have uh, 2 pi e we know 2 pi e is a constant so uh, let us introduce 2 pi e is equal to k k we know constant so we can write our integral is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x times natural log of x over e to the kx minus 1 dx now both numerator and denominator i'm going to multiply by e to the minus kx so we have integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus kx times x times natural log of x over here uh, if you multiply by e to the minus kx we know here we have 1 minus e to the minus kx dx okay then uh, we know e to the minus kx over 1 minus e to the minus kx is equal to uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity e to the minus uh, k n x so we can write our integral is equal to integral from 0 to infinity here x times natural log of x so x times natural log of x instead of uh, this part we know uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity e to the minus k n x d x well uh, then uh, we can switch the integral sign and uh, sigma notation so we have uh, sum of here n is equal 1 but i'm going to shift the index uh, like when n is equal 0 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity uh, here x times natural log of x times e to the minus k now instead of n we know n plus 1 times x dx okay then uh, we can take a substitution u substitution so let's take uh, k times n plus 1 times x this part uh, is equal to t then we should differentiate k times n plus 1 dx is equal to d t well then our integral becomes sum of 0 to infinity uh, limit uh, we know also 0 to infinity then uh, x x we know uh, here t over t over k times n plus 1 then natural log of x natural log of x we know again t over k times n plus 1 then e to the uh, k times n plus 1 x we know t so e to the minus t times now dx dx we know here we can isolate the dx dt over k times n plus 1 okay then uh, we know here sum uh, n is equal 0 to infinity uh, so here the variable of integration integral we know t so here k here k k square we can write uh, outside of the sigma notation 1 over k square then sum of 0 to infinity then here n plus 1 here n plus 1 so 1 over n plus 1 perfect square then integral from 0 to infinity now we have uh, here t here e to the minus t so t times e to the minus t times now this part uh, natural log of t over k times n plus 1 so according to property of natural log we can write natural log of t minus natural log of k minus natural log of n plus 1 d t 
okay then uh, we can split uh, this integral into uh, three different integrals so we can write here 1 over k square sum of n is equal 0 to infinity 1 over n plus 1 perfect square integral from here parenthesis integral from 0 to infinity t times e to the minus t times natural log of t then uh, sorry here dt then minus natural log of k we know constant so natural log of k integral from 0 to infinity now we have t times e to the minus t dt then uh, natural log of n plus 1 again uh, constant so natural log of n plus 1 integral from 0 to infinity t times e to the minus t yeah. dt okay then uh, here we have uh, t e to the minus t natural log of t so uh, let us uh, recall the, the definition of gamma function we know gamma of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x to the z minus 1 e to the minus x dx then if we differentiate with respect to c gamma dash of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x to the c minus 1 e to the minus x natural log of x dx now if we plug in 2 gamma dash of 2 is equal to integral from 0 to infinity uh, here x e to the minus x natural log of x dx so we know uh, our integral uh, this integral is equal to gamma dash of 2 also this integral gamma of 2 this integral again gamma of 2 so our integral is equal to 1 over k square uh, then here sum of n is equal 0 to infinity 1 over n plus 1 perfect square times now here we have gamma dash of 2 gamma dash of 2 minus natural log of k times gamma of 2 minus natural log of n plus 1 times gamma of 2 okay then uh, here we have gamma dash of 2 uh, we know the derivative of the derivative of natural log of gamma function gamma of x is equal to gamma dash of x over gamma of x gamma dash of x over gamma of x and this is equal to di gamma function di gamma of x so we have gamma dash of x is equal to gamma of x times di gamma of x here we have gamma dash of 2 so gamma dash of 2 is equal to gamma of 2 times di gamma of 2 we know gamma of 2 is equal to gamma of 2 is equal to 1 so we can write 1 over k square uh, sum of now again i am going to shift the index uh, n is equal 1 to infinity so here we have 1 over n square uh, then here gamma dash of 2 we know uh, di gamma of 2 here di gamma of 2 minus natural log of k gamma of 2 we know 1 here also 1 and here natural log of now uh, we shift the index so here natural log of n okay then uh, here 1 over k square sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over uh, n square then uh, di gamma of 2 uh, we discussed about in a previous video di gamma function video di gamma of 2 is equal to 1 minus gamma uh, i will add the uh, link of di gamma function video in the description so uh, if you like you can watch uh, here now minus natural log of k minus natural log of n okay then uh, we know here um, okay let us uh, simplify uh, 1 over k square then 
uh, 1 times this part so sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square minus gamma sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square minus natural log of k times sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square minus sum of n is equal 1 to infinity natural log of n over n square okay then uh, we know here 1 over k square this is we know the definition of theta function as sum n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n raised to the s is equal to theta of s so we know this is equal to theta of 2 theta of 2 then minus gamma times theta of 2 minus natural log of k times here again theta of 2 then uh, here this part so how to find this series well uh, we know the definition of theta function here we have so uh, if we differentiate uh, with respect to s we know theta dash of s is equal to uh, d by ds d by ds sum n is equal 1 to infinity n to the minus s then we can write sum of n is equal 1 to infinity d by ds n to the minus s then n is equal 1 to infinity now uh, here if we differentiate n to the minus s with respect to s we know we have minus n to the minus s times natural log of n so we have minus sum of n is equal 1 to infinity natural log of n over n to the s so we know now uh, this part is equal to minus theta dash of 2 so minus theta dash of 2 but here we have minus sign so plus theta dash of 2 okay then uh, here 1 over k square also at the same time i'm going to take uh, theta of 2 as a common factor here k square so here 1 minus gamma minus natural log of k <coughs> then uh, theta dash of 2 so uh, in a previous video also we discussed about uh, glacier king kling constant so we know theta dash of 2 is equal to uh, theta of 2 minus theta of 2 so theta of 2 we took as a common factor therefore here 12 times natural log of a a we know glacier king kling constant so uh, here plus uh, gamma plus natural log of 2 times pi okay then uh, we can simplify we know minus gamma plus gamma get cancelled mm. now we know in the beginning uh, here we took 2 pi e is equal k so k we know 2 pi e also theta of 2 uh, okay here theta of 2 uh, k 2 pi e so 4 times 5 square e square here 1 minus natural log of k we know now 2 pi e minus 12 times natural log of a e plus natural log of 2 times pi well uh, we can simplify theta of 2 we know 5 square over 6 so here 24 times 5 square e square then 1 minus natural log of 2 pi e we can write natural log of 2 pi natural log of 2 pi plus natural log of e natural log of e we know 1 so uh, here 1 minus 1 get cancelled and also here natural log of 2 pi minus natural log of 2 pi plus natural log of 2 pi get cancelled so
we have uh, here or uh, this one get cancelled so we have minus 12 times natural log of a so uh, we can simplify 5 square get cancelled also this 12 get cancelled so we have minus natural log of a over 2 times e square okay this is the answer for this integral if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching